You're watching America This Morning, America's number one early morning news. With so many people hurt, you can only imagine that many of those injuries are quite extensive. ABC's Dr. Richard Besser shed some light now on what we can expect to see after such a massive explosion that involves ammonia. With a blast, you have to first think about the injuries from the blast itself. And so you'd be looking there uh, for, for burns. You could be looking at, at broken bones, injuries to, to soft tissue just from the explosion. But when you add in the chemical of ammonia, then you worry about what kind of breathing protection people had who were, who were really close to that, that blast. Ammonia can have a number of different different uh, impacts on your body. It's very irritating and corrosive. We've all smelled gross, uh, ammonia and know how, how hard it is to just smell that at very low levels. At high levels, ammonia can be very damaging to, to your respiratory tract, to your nose, to your throat. It can cause swelling in your, in your airways, and that can be very destructive. So at high levels, you worry about people having lung damage and, di and difficulty breathing. There would be a need for a lot of respiratory support. Doctor, we're talking about hundreds of people being taken about 20 miles away to the Waco area for treatment right now, as you mentioned, lacerations, cuts, those kind of injuries. And these were people who were probably a couple miles from the blast scene. Anybody who was at that blast scene, I don't know if you saw that video that we just showed, any chance somebody who's fighting a fire and is, and is right up there on those flames could, could survive something like that? Well, you, you know, you, you never know, and so you want to keep your keep your hope. I, you know, I have not seen the video of, of, of what took place there, um, but you hope that that people who survived the blast itself. If they're evacuated quickly, what you want to do with the exposure to ammonia is get people away from there very quickly. You want to remove uh, any clothing that could have that ammonia on it and, and decontaminate people in that way so that they're not getting ongoing exposure to the chemical. And once again, that was Dr. Uh, Richard Besser who was talking about the exposure to ammonia in an area like this, which can be potentially lethal.